Hi, and welcome back to Break 100 Golf. I'm John. You're going to love today's video because I'm going to go over the new public beta for GS Pro version 2.9.1.5. Now, by the time you get to it, it may be a different version, but what's happening here is in the fall, GS Pro is going to be releasing this as their new software. Right now it's in beta and you can download that and I can show you how to do that upcoming. I'm gonna show you how to download it. I'm gonna show you some of the settings and what's coming. And I'm also gonna show you how to get your software back to where it was when you started in case you've never done this before. Now, before I get started, if you like this video at any point, please hit that like button. It'll allow the video to be shown to way more people. It is the greatest honor that you could give me. Now, here's what's upcoming in the fall release that you can now play in beta. Now, granted, there could be errors in this software. I have not tested it yet. I'm about to go down and test it right now. However, you are able to play the new beta release that I'm gonna show you. So here's some of the things that are included in the fall release of 2020-24. And that you're going to get a totally different dashboard, which you're gonna see. You're going to get a totally different practice range in version three. It's gonna be amazing with tons of options. Unfortunately, it is not released yet in this version. The course select screen is completely different. There's many more options for sorting the golf courses. You'll see that if you already own a GS Pro. There's an ultimate long drive uh, challenge that you can compete against friends, which looks really awesome. There is also new launch monitor support coming. I don't know what they're going to be, but it's coming soon. There are additional distance challenges, including potting, which is absolutely amazing. You'll see that when I show you uh, up in here in a few more minutes. A new on-screen keyboard. There's gonna be a ball-ready indicator. Uh, they've added more control over sound settings. There's new ball physics and much, much more. So let's get right into it. All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up GS Pro Launcher. That's gonna start. Okay, once you've started GS Pro and you're at the dashboard, go to settings in the upper right hand corner and go to game. You'll hit download public beta on the bottom right. Save. Now you're going to exit GS Pro and restart GS Pro. What that will do is that's going to download as you see right here going to download the public beta. That's just only going to take a minute or so. And don't worry, you're going to be able to go back to the stable software that you've been using until they completely release this in the fall of 2024. All right, so that should start now. After it finishes the download. Here we go. All right, so right off the bat, you can see if you use GS Pro, that's a different welcome screen. Looks pretty cool. And now you have a totally new dashboard. So you're gonna notice a lot of these things are the same but they've added a few things on the dashboard, like you've got some previews of holes in the background. You've got local match practice, challenges, tournaments, and online match. So the first thing I'm gonna do is let's go over to settings, and I'm gonna do this for the first time now. So I haven't seen any of this. All I've done is seen one other video showing how to go through these settings and these different areas. All right, so this looks different for sure. So you look at game and you can do all your settings. I'm not gonna go through all the settings. Um, 
I've done a totally other video on that and that's not really gonna change, it's just how it's laid out. So you've got game, realism, system, and you've got sounds. So you've got a little bit more control over the sounds. So you got GS Pro sounds, core sounds, menu sounds, and master sounds. Let's go over to players. I don't really see anything different here. Just laid out differently, and we'll go over to visual settings. Uh, pretty much the same settings, just laid out different. And then it looks like you can completely adjust your UI mode, which is really cool. I like that. All right, so we're just gonna save and exit here. Let's go into local match and see what that looks like. So you've got a lot more control here, as opposed to in the past where, you know, you basically just had this screen that's over here that went from the left side to the right side. So now you can just hit these icons, installed, all courses, favorites, popular, newest, never played. Uh, you can sort by the difficulty, the course style. This is totally cool. And then they have a play random course, which is interesting. Not sure if I'd ever use that, but I might. Let's get out of there. And let's get over to practice. So as you can see, the practice range uh, what it looks like in the future is going to be different. If you see this range V3, that's coming soon. So you can still do on-course practice like in the past. What we're really gonna wanna see is when this comes, is this range V3. I'm really, really excited about that. All right, so let's exit out of there. You've got your regular challenges. You're probably already familiar if you have GS Pro, which is Operation 36. You've got distance challenges. Ultimate Long Drive, which is already active in beta, and a 60-shot skill test. Um, let's go to distance challenges. So what's cool about this is, is you've got putting, which you, I don't believe had before. So you've got 10 foot, 20 foot, and 10 to 25 foot uh, positions for putting. I love that to practice. I'm not sure if you can adjust stimp. Let's try that. Uh, Play challenge round. I've been putting it, my stimp somewhere between an eight and 10, but I may adjust that as I get used to putting because I hadn't putt for the first year and a half that I owned a golf simulator because I used the Garmin. Well now I use SkyTrack and I also use the new uh, Unicor i Mini Lite that I just got. And I'm gonna be doing a ton of videos with those. All right, here we go. Clubhouse looks great in the background there. So let's go and see if we can adjust stem. Game. Round settings, tee box pins, mullion, course setup, green firmness, you can adjust. Here we go, stem. Okay, yes, you can change that. Nice. I love it. So you can test all these different green stamps. Uh, and I think that will really help you if you've never putt before in golf simulation. I'm still getting used to it uh, because I just got the SkyTrack a couple months ago and I just got the Unicor, which I had never been able to putt before in GS Pro. And I'm absolutely loving it because it saves me some strokes for those dreaded three putts. All right, so let's just save and exit. So I do love this feature. The flag looks great, totally different than in the past. All right, so let's get out of here and we'll look at some of these other things in the challenges, the distance challenges. So you've also got 20, 30, 15 to 35. So if you wanna work on your chipping, 100, 125, and it goes all the way up to 250 yards. And then you've got the long drive. So that downloaded that to my queue. So we're not gonna be able to look at that right now, but basically uh, we're looking at this the same time you and I. So here we go. All 
All right, so here's the welcome screen on the ultimate long drive settings. Uh, you can add a player here. You can change the auto start clock to auto or off. There's advanced settings here. Let's close that. Uh, you can do a grid from 40 to 70 yards. You can go three to eight shots and you can set your timer from one to six minutes. Wow, six minutes is a long time. Let's just go ahead and hit start. So that's what it looks like. Looks pretty cool. This is fun to do with your friends, I would say. And here's your timer right here. I don't really know anything about this and I am not gonna demo this until they actually release the uh, official version in fall of 2024. Again, we're still looking at beta. All right, let's exit out of here. Of course, you've got sim golf tournaments if you play on the uh, simulator golf tour. Then you've got online matches that you can join and create and play online with your friends. So to re-download your stable version of GS Pro, just go back up to settings in the upper right-hand corner and go to system and drop down and click on download latest stable, close, save and exit, exit to your desktop, restart GS Pro, and that is going to download your original version. As you can see, it's downloading right here in the upper right hand corner. And now it's updating. And now you'll be back to your regular version of GS Pro. Well, that's going to be about it for today's video. I certainly do appreciate you watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel right now. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button and also send it to any of your friends that may be interested in GS Pro or basically golf sim in general, because that's what my channel is all about. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.